Good morning. It's the first day of summer, June 21st, and it's raining and it's going to continue raining all day long. So I'm going to get the hydraulic fluid into the tractor. I drained the old stuff out and it turned out to be automatic transmission fluid, which is not what this tractor takes. Uh, some people say you can use it, some people say no. But anyway, I drained it out and I took away the buckets and cleaned the area two days ago. And you can see that there's a little bit of fluid on the ground, but for the most part, it's empty. Now it's time to get the plugs back in and fill her up. Just a bit messy down here from the little drips, but not too bad. I just saw a drip. I wanted to get all of this ATF out of here. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. Um, the little bit that's left, a few drips here and there, are left inside the tractor. I'm going to be filling this with the recommended 90 weight mineral oil. They recommend 80 weight for the winter, but I'm not changing this for the winter. I doubt that I'll be using it in uh, real cold weather. And if I do use it in cold weather, I will let it warm up. Okay, that's that. Here are the three plugs. This is the big hydraulic plug and the differential and the tranny plugs appear to be the same. They are the same. Um, and they look like they're NPT thread, which is a tapered thread. So I don't think I need any kind of uh, sealer on these. This one, on the other hand, has a copper washer, and it's a little bit dented up. So I, I started to, to hammer on it a little bit, and I'm not sure if this is going to focus correctly. But stuff started squeezing out of the center, so apparently it's a sandwich. And I'm not real sure what the material is on the inside. But I don't think this will really need any sealer either. Um, I think I can get away with not putting anything on it, but I don't know. I'm kind of torn between putting on some of the non-drying Permatex, just putting a thin little coat on either side of this because it's got, you know, a lot of little gouges and nicks. But on the other hand, I don't think this is going to leak because the leaking is likely due to the uh, ATF fluid in there. These, these aren't made for ATF fluid. They're made for 90 weight uh, mineral oil. ATF is roughly 10 weight from what I'm reading. You know, so the difference between 10 weight and 90 weight is pretty huge. So I've come to a decision. Um, I'm going to use Forma Gasket Sealant on there, just a thin coat uh, right on the, on the washer itself, and that should do it. I, th I think it would work all by itself, but, you know, once you have six gallons of hydraulic fluid in there. That's not the time to second guess. So that's what I'm going to do.
I'm going to start with the uh, large plug that I just put the goo on. Uh, looks like I got a little bit of drippage there, which I'm going to get rid of. That should do that. Now for, I think I'll get the differential plug in. You can probably hear the rain out there. These tin buildings are pretty, pretty noisy when it rains. Okay, like I said earlier, this one, the differential plug here, and the transmission plug are both NPT, so they should tighten up and be leak free. Uh, they're square, but using a 12 point socket on it is the way around that if you want to use a socket. Okay. That's that. They got a mount here for something. I wonder if those are threaded. All right, let's get the transmission plug. This one has this nice guard. I really like that. Good design. Kind of keep it from getting hit by all the crap that you go over in the field. Okay, I've uh, tried this plug before and it was quite loose, but there was no water in, in, the, uh, in the system, so it's certainly not taken on water because it was a little loose. Yeah, I wish I had a little light down there. All right, six gallons of SAE 90. Pretty thick stuff. Oh, yeah, big difference. I just hope I don't get this all over the place. Okay, that's two.
four more gallons to go. All right, that'll do it. When I finished pouring the six gallons in there, I noticed that there was a, a little bit of oil on the ground here. I don't know how well that's showing up, but... And I had already wiped off a drip going down here. I do believe that's where it came from. Yeah, you could see it went to right here and then dripped down. That's not from the plug. Awesome. Yeah, I don't see any other drips. So I think I'm good to go. What I'm going to do now is clean these drips off. Get it nice and clean and clean the floor and just watch it to make sure there's no drips, but I don't think there is. This little cover here was not much more than finger tight, but I will give it a little bit more than that. And that should do that. Okay, got it clean, and nothing. Cleaned the ground, and that was a couple minutes ago, and if it really was leaking, there would be stuff on the ground there. So, it is not leaking, but we'll come back tomorrow and check on it. So, uh, little update on other projects. Yesterday, I went out with some glyphosate and killed any sprouts that were in the prairie grass garden that has yet to be seeded. First day of summer, and I don't have the seeds in yet, but it's going to pay off in the end to kill off all the weeds before getting this in there. Uh, no sense in rushing it. I can water it and it'll be fine. Um, next thing on the tractor, I'm not really sure if I want to put new oil in the steering gear box. This thing was cracked at one time and re-welded. Let me get a picture of that. Uh, here's the weld right here. So it does have some relatively newer fluid in there. They don't say much about, the, the only way to change this is to either take it off or take the drain plug out and siphon it out. I don't think I need to do that. If, if there's any problems with it, I'll change that too. I'd like to have all new fluids, but I really don't think that's, that's going to be necessary. Next, I'll get back to this, the 12 volt conversion. Uh, there's quite a few little miscellaneous things to do with that, and I have a thermostat on the way, and I need a new upper hose. The lower hose looks fine. The radiator's been cleaned. Everything looks good there. So, hopefully I'll be able to get this thing started and get her the hell out of here pretty soon. So stop back and see that and what else do I got going on yeah it's raining like crazy out there the barn which is it's just a shed it's 10 by 12 and we actually lived in that while we built the house uh, over the last few days I've cleaned that out so I can take you on a tour of it and do a proper intro for the channel so I got that coming up. 
I've mixed the last of the wildflower seeds and I'm currently doing a weed and seed where I yank out areas where it's mostly weed, like pigweed, uh, drops about a million seeds. So I'll just yank out entire areas, throw some that sand and seed mixed, throw some of that there, throw some peat over the top of it, and basically be done with that crap for the rest of this year. Just a, an occasional pulling of a weed or so. And what's next? Oh, I'm also going to do a little video on woodworking, or actually some of my woodworking projects from the past. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my machines set up yet. This one's going to need a mobile base. The jointer already has one, and this one works great. I have a mobile base on the dust collector, this portable dust collector. And what else do I have? Oh, the, the planer. Where the hell is the planer? There's the planer. Uh, the planer's got a crappy mobile base. Hopefully I can change that. And I have the wiring for it almost done. You can see two uh, 220 circuits and then one down at the bottom, which will be for the drill press. So I can roll my machines out here and get some woodworking projects done. Um, before that, I'm going to put out a video showing the valley pool table reconstruction. I, well, actually, it's a complete rebuild. I rebuilt a valley, a 1972 valley pool table, and I built it from solid wood. It was a particle board and plastic, chrome-plated plastic table. And I completely remade it from solid wood. I don't believe I have any plywood in it or particle board. I'll have to go over my notes from it. It was a few years back. So I'm going to show that in images because I have no video of it. So look for that coming up and I'm going to start a new woodworking section and go over some of the other stuff I've done as well until I can get some kind of shop set up out here. This is not going to be the, the wood shop out here. This is going to stay the machine shop, but until I can get another shop built, I'll roll them tools out on their mobile bases and build right here and hopefully not get dust on every surface in here, which is what happens in a wood shop. Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the projects here on our homestead. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll get updates when we upload new videos, which is generally every day, but sometimes two or even three times a day. Thanks for watching and have a great day.